look like. But first, what is sound? Sound is something that we sense from our environment. We hear things with our ears and we see things with our eyes. In reality, sound is vibrations that move through the air like waves. When they reach our ears, our brain decode the vibrations as sound. When we speak, we make vibrations with our voice box. That's how speakers make sound. They vibrate. What if there is a way to see sound? We can see major effects of sound when a jet breaks the sound barrier or when an opera singer breaks glass with her voice. Michael Faraday was a British scientist. He discovered that sound vibrations make waves on the surface of liquid. He called these Faraday waves. The more vibrations, the crazier the waves. When I think of waves, I think of water. Faraday showed us that we can turn sound waves into waves in liquid. That means we can use liquid to see sound. We are going to use the speaker to see the effects of sound. Pretty cool, right? It's time for a demonstration. This tone generator lets us make sound waves. We play them from this stereo to this speaker. We'll use water to see sound waves from the speaker. I'll set the tone generator to 40 hertz. I'm adding one drop of all of food coloring. Now I'm going to add the cornstarch to the water. You saw what happens with water. Now let's see what sound makes to the cornstarch in the water. Now, see what happens with music. We learn that sound is vibrations that travel through the air like waves. We also learned about Michael Faraday who showed us that sound waves can make waves 
and liquid called Faraday waves.